This video shows you how to work with crown molding in Pro 100. You'll notice in the top left corner I'm just working with the standard Pro 100 demo that you can download from Pro100USA.com. Nothing has been added to the, to the catalog, it's just the original download. So I'm going to go over here to catalog and go to cabinets and uh, I'll pick a upper cabinet I want to work with. This looks good. I'll just drag it into the uh, floor plan. Uh, if I want I can select this cabinet and make a copy. There's uh, I'm not gonna go much into that because we have other tutorial videos that cover that sort of thing. I'm just gonna focus on crown molding here. So with these in the floor plan I'm gonna click on move to back and move to top to make sure that the cabinets are flush against the top and back wall while they're still selected I'll right click and go to dimensions then I'll go to position you'll notice they're 66 inches from the bottom I'm gonna make them 62 so I have four inches above the cabinets then I'm gonna click on move to left so that they butt against the left wall at this point I'll rotate the drawing and I'm gonna click on new element and place it up against the left wall I'm gonna double click the new element and go to dimensions and I'm going to change the height and depth from 31 and a half to 4 by 4. I will change the width to 15 inches and I'm going to unlock the width and lock the height and depth because I want the width to be stretchable with my mouse but I don't want the height and depth to change. So now I have a rectangle. So I'm going to double click on that new object actually I'm going to right click it and then go to shape and I'm going to select the bottom side and I will del delete it. Now I'm going to change the straight line, the straight side uh, that's 5 and 11 16 of an inch. I'm going to change it from a straight side to a curve by clicking this button after selecting it. You'll notice that it has these grab points which I can move which changes the shape of the curve. You can uh, use this tool to create a custom profile for your molding. So you can create custom moldings right within Pro 100 using the shape editor, t editor tool that I'm using here but you also have the option of importing shapes from external sources uh, as long as the shape is a DXF or a DWG file. I'm going to close out of this. I'm going to take my new shape and I'll click move to top and I am going to uh, zoom in on this last upper cabinet here and s click my center button here to center my view on it. Now I'm going to select my molding again and holding control and shift I'm going to select the right style on that last upper cabinet, the one that's closest to us. From this point I'm going to uh, align the rights and align the backs so the back of the style is aligned with the, aligned with the back of the molding. Now I'm going to click on my plan view so I can look at this from the top down and I'll zoom in. What I want to do here uh, that's easier to do in this view is to grab this, select this grab point and stretch the molding till it butts up against the left wall. Now we'll go to the perspective view and you'll notice that it's uh, the size is right but the textures don't match. To correct that I will go to textures and I'm going to just drag ash one on top of the molding and uh, I'm gonna hold my shift key and drag ash one on top of the side panel of the cabinet. You'll notice if I do a undo here I'll center the view again. I'll repeat what I did with the texture on the side panel of the cabinet. It's not just going to change the side panel. Because I'm holding the shift key, it will change all uh, the parts in the project that we're using the material that I'm replacing. Okay, now Ash 1 is on the tops, side panels, probably the bottoms. Uh, face frame and the molding. Since all those 
parts are sharing the same texture, I can go here to say Ash 4, hold my shift key, and everything that was using Ash 1 will now become Ash 4. Okay. Um, with this current view that we're in, you can see all the contours, all the breaks between the parts. That can be turned off. You just go to contours, turns off the contours, and you don't see all the seams. That's a quick look at uh, using moldings in Pro 100. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact us at 574-299-5330. Thanks for watching.